I am the director of the solar system now at Goddard Space Flight Center. And even though I'm an astronomer, I'm not a solar, a solar system astronomer or planetary astronomer. Um, I have a lot of background in how NASA works. And um, I turn out to be very good at managing people. So I manage a group of about 110. A hundred of them are PhD physicists who do a, or astronomers, ge geologists, geophysicists, instrument makers, um, who do a very broad range of science, most of which gets sent to other planets. I would say there's one common feature between scientists and engineers, which is the type of expertise I work with, and that is that they would not typically be called people, people persons, or people people. Uh, they, they tend to be shy, and they do not tend to be very good at communication. One of the biggest challenges I faced when I took over this group was that people didn't trust each other because they didn't talk to each other. The interesting thing about scientific leadership, which is something I see a lot of in my field, is that it requires a lot of soft skills as well as what you might call hard skills. It's terribly important for scientists in today's world to get the people skills because scientists no longer work alone in their office. Science is a team effort and we see that in NASA all the time. The, the instruments are bigger than they used to have to be because they have to be more complex. And to run a group, you need a motivated group that feels a part of the group and you need to be able to mentor them and bring them in and engage them in a way that they feel part of a larger endeavor. You know, calculus, physics, astronomy, um, uh, you know, matrix algebra, uh, quantum mechanics, I mean, the, the, you know, all the classes that I took. I, I think having, I took those classes after two years of taking, uh, you know, French and acting in 15th century Nuremberg history and, uh, you know, a, a class on plays, an enormous variety of classes that ent entered into my brain many other thoughts that actually had to do with humanity and humanity's many talents. Uh, I think that sort of thing is very, very important for the soft skills, and I don't think you necessarily get it in the straight science classes. One of the things that that range of coursework does for you is it sort of, it sort of tests your own parameter space. It takes you maybe out of your comfort zone, acting, an acting class that I took was out of my comfort zone because I, I don't particularly like to stand up in front of people. But um, experiencing who you are, people are very complex. And to use the time when you're young, the best time to do this really is when you're young, when you're an undergraduate student or young. Um, the range of courses offered by a, a liberal arts college can really help you uh, learn more about who you are. And I think that knowledge is absolutely invaluable when, when you go out there and confront the real world and, and you see, ah, this is a place where I could really, this really resonates with me. It resonates with my talent and my character. And then you see something else and you say, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not going near that. But you have to have some amount of self-knowledge to be able to do those things. You know, if I look at my own career, I ended up doing many things that I did not expect to do. Um, and while I had a complete career in scientific research, I went on to scientific management. And I think that's where many of the things I learned at the youngest age as a liberal arts uh, major kicked in. So, so for example, um, learning how to write a decent paragraph is absolutely critical to everything you do. Um, learning to analyze uh, what has happened 
I mean, one of the main things I do in my group is I, I really keep track of what's going on, how's our progress. Um, that is really not unlike history. I happen to take history with one of the best historians at UW, George Mossy, and I can still remember his lectures. They were so good. Uh, they were so good. He'd kind of uh, tiptoe around in Ag Hall and uh, to, to a standing room only audience. Um, I took an acting class. I took an acting class my first year. And uh, when you're a manager, actually acting is very important. Because when you're worried about somebody, if you frown, they think you dislike them. Frowning means, you know, you dislike me. When you, when you deal with people as a manager, you have to, you have to step back and not just be yourself. You have, to, you have to think, how am I being perceived? And so, you know, darn it, if my acting class, my first year in school, didn't help me with the management skills that I now use in dealing with scientists. Um, two things I just cannot leave out. I had a music appreciation class, and music is one of the greatest comforts in my life, something I listen to and appreciate. And uh, the first semester, I took Greek mythology, and um, I don't travel without, a, I'm traveling with Tacitus today, the Roman historian from, who wrote his histories in, I don't know, AD 100 or something, and, and a little mini book on the Etruscans. So, so uh, you know, there's your, there's your career and there's your life, and um, they, they, they do fit together. Uh, so many of the things that I experienced as an undergraduate opened up worlds to me that really make a difference to my life today. I'm very grateful for the classes that I had that in no way would directly relate to um, scientific management, which is what I do now. You know, Greek mythology, how does it relate to scientific management? Um, and yet it was one of the ways in which I got to know myself better and, what, and made me more powerful and also more flexible. So another way I would put it is, I think one way to think about future careers is that I think people are going to need a combination of depth and breadth. And so the, the depth you get by becoming an expert in one thing. For me, it was astronomy. Um, you know, once I discovered that that's what I wanted to do, and it took two years, um, that's all I did. But I also had a, a real breadth of different talents that came in after my research career in astronomy when I became a manager. All of these other uh, t uh, roles and talents came in that I had picked up from uh, just a wild uh, variety of things, you know, pl playwriting class. Uh, you know, art, arts as well as history, as well as language. Um, you know, it's the, it's the world we live in, and we live in an increasingly complex world that I believe is going to take that breadth of experience, is going to require that breadth of experience as well as, you know, depth of expertise in one topic.